Hey, 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 welcome to the unboxing video of Undaunted Battle of Britain. My name is Adam, aka Weekly Game Night, and I've just received, today I've just received awesome package straight from Osprey Games, the publisher of this upcoming title. Um, so everything you see here, it's a final game, but it will be available in shops soon soon um, depending on the continent you are at well so this game was uh, designed by david thompson and trevor benjamin and it's another addition to the undaunted series but this time it's completely different as we are taken to year 1940 in which germany conquered almost entire europe and great britain is the last one standing and in order to launch a naval crusade against Great Britain, first Luftwaffe needs to deal um, with the Great Britain Air Forces. And well, so it happened in the history, that was year 1940, and so the Battle of Britain started. And well, this game recreates more or less that event, and I'm so eager to see what's hiding inside of this box because uh, upon existing rules for Undaunted, the designers have created completely new standalone game in which you don't fight anymore on ground, instead we are taken into the air um, to fight some aerial battles between Luftwaffe and RAF. Royal Air Force. Well, so without further ado, let's check out the box contents. And I'm so excited to see it because um, Polish pilots played a significant role in this um, battle, especially Squadron 302 and 303. And well, we'll see, we'll see if they were included in any way in that um, game. So. First things first, rule book. The rule book, um, the rule book is as usual 23 pages long, so more or less uh, it's the same as it was with the previous games. But as I said, we are taken into the air um, to fight some, and as you can already see, we'll be playing pilot cards. Um, there will be um, aircraft available to you, but th there also will be um, balloon, barrage balloons and ships as well. So, what do we have here? Um, explanation of communication cards, tokens, um, tiles or markers for ships, anti-aircraft and cloud. Nice, nice. And we have board tiles, hexagonal board tiles, because in this um, addition to the series, we will be using place, planes and they, the, they just don't move in any direction because they can obviously they can't turn um, in any direction. So they will be facing one direction shown over here and well you, you can fly, you can turn, but you know um, you, can, you can't do 180 degrees turn around um, at any um, point. So this is the rule books clarifying, move, uh, clarifying all the possible actions, um, all the possible actions, combat, the stuff that was uh, pretty much the same as it was um, uh, in the previous games. But of course, with the changes uh, regarding this edition, this aircraft edition of Undaunted. So, okay, that's the rule book. It looks really nice. It looks really nice, very informative. Um, I really liked uh, rule books for Undaunted. Really, really well uh, written as well. Okay, so here we have um, scenario book. Scenario book, so let me put that aside. Oh, really nice, by the way, really nice. Um, really nice emblems here and here. Nice touches, you know, yeah these small details um, very interesting okay so um, well we have scenarios so we can play this game as a campaign mm -hmm. nice as usual we have um, we have initial scenarios the decks that we're gonna start with the whole setup 
uh, the board, the air aircraft uh, for two sides. Um, is there any anti-aircraft artillery? Not in this scenario, but probably in the next ones. So as you can see, we have some ships over here. So each scenario will be a little bit um, different, definitely. And well, we have clouds even. Um, looks nice, it looks nice. Of course, if you have played Undaunted, um, you will see plenty of similarities um, in this scenario book. And man, uh, ju judging by the looks of these maps, I can't wait to play it. Actually, I was sold on this game um, early on because when I saw that they are using this system, which is very neat, and they are trying to do the air battle game, I was like, well, that definitely something for me. Um, and now, as you can see, I will be showing these tiles pretty soon. Um, this map looks great. And yeah, and yeah. Um, they will look great on the table as well. Okay, so that was the scenario book. Let's see what, what else is hiding in the box. So we have three um, punch boards to punch the um, ba uh, barrage balloons, clouds, ships, and of course the beautiful machines of World War II. So what do we have here? Let me see. Oh, maybe this side up. So what do we have here? So um, German Stuka and Heinkel and, and of course um, Messerschmitt. Um, we have, what else? We have um, actually the other um, bomber BF-110C. And yeah, amazing um, machines from the Luftwaffe. And of course, we have Commonwealth Heroes, um, Defiant, Spitfire, of course, probably the most known plane of World War II, or one of. But we also have Hurricanes, which, by the way, were way more used in the Battle of Britain, and they scored two times more hits um, than the Spitfires. But, you know, marketing, propaganda made um, sexy looking Spitfires the heroes of that battle, which was not exactly the case. Okay, so more planes, more planes. I will leave that for later to do some punching. Um, well, let's take a look at the game map tiles. So these tiles are divided into hexes on which over which actually our place planes gonna fly and over which um, and on which we will have some anti-aircraft artillery, ships and ground structures as well depending on the scenario. So there is whole bunch of these tiles and I need to say that they, they look really nice. They are thick, they are thick nicely coated and yeah i love the graphics i hope you can you'll be able to see them clearly but i really love the graphics on these tiles as you can see plenty to choose from uh, let me get some ship token and some maybe artillery token as well and oh let's get some planes so spitfire come here Okay, so it might look, look something like that, more or less. Uh, I'm not super accurate uh, right now, but it doesn't matter. Maybe this one will feel better. Okay, it doesn't matter, but still. Um, so you will place your artillery like that and some ships like that. And of course, the heroes of this game, the planes and as you can see um, there are uh, the tokens for the planes are showing the direction it, in which you can shoot and in which you are actually moving so yeah that's that's that um, well let's take a look oh some more tiles smaller ones smaller ones okay and let's take a look at the stuff that I wanted to see uh, Okay, we have, of course, 
D10 dice set. And two decks of cards. One for the German and one for Commonwealth. So let's start off with the um, British Commonwealth and supporting nations like Poland. Um, so I am very eager to see um, the cards. So let's take a look at them. So communication cards over here. On each card there is an initiative, there are um, different icons for some special abilities and of course actions as well and the, um, the sections uh, to which they refer to. As you can see we have some ships and anti-aircraft uh, anti artillery cards and the heroes. So uh, each hero, uh, each hero, each pilot, each pilot or crew is signed over here so we have hurricanes um, pilots standard one and ace we have another hurricane pilot some more of them this one is called Bogdan Jurovic okay nice nice uh, Okay, more Hurricane Pilots, so we have also Defiant Pilots as well. As usual, graphics are pretty cool. I don't know if the quality of cards have changed or what, but they are so soft when you touch them. Uh, I don't remember the original Undaunted cards, but really, they are so, so, so soft to touch them. Maybe I wish they could be a little bit thicker, just a bit, but okay. Um, Eugene Lloyd, famous World War II pilot, Harvey Adams, James Palmer. Oh, there you are, the Deus Powinin, Polish, Polish dude. Actually, I don't know if you are aware, but um, the Polish squadron 303 was the squadron with the highest kill count in the Battle of Britain. So yeah, Poles played a significant role in that battle and I'm really um, and it, I'm really pleased to see that they were included in this deck of cards. Maybe not the aces, maybe not the aces because I can't see Josef Frantisek which who was actually Czech um, but playing under the Polish banner and Witold Urbanowicz another ace from this um, from this period but yeah um, really nice that they have included uh, this. It wasn't always the case after the war. But now, let's take a look at the bad boys. The attackers. So, the same. We start off with the section uh, communications cards that have different actions and we get to the pilots. Famous pilots on the um, German side of this battle. German has suf have suffered heavy casualties in this uh, in this battle, but well, you know, it was what it was. They wanted to launch the sea level um, operation, which never happened, by the way. And you can also see that um, there are. German, these are German pilots, but the names of them, you know, they took people from all over the Europe, so probably that was addressed as well. So as you can see, we have Messerschmitt, Heinkels, um, what else, what else was there, um, other Messerschmitt, um, okay, there was also ISO Stuka somewhere over here, probably, I think so, oh, yeah, there, there you go, so yeah. That's it. That's it. And we have special Discord cards in the in the box, um, in the deck. Um, these are meant as you know, um, doing nothing cards, which you will get to stuff your hand. So yeah. Um, and I think that's it. That's it. That's the entire. That's the entire box. So two decks of cards, plenty of map tiles, um, some tokens for terrain structures, ships, and of course 
uh, uh, aircraft, the heroes of this battle. And well, you get that within this cute little box. Um, that was the unboxing for Undaunted Battle of Britain. Um, if you guys like that video, please um, leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube for future, not only unboxings, but also future videos, um, board game videos uh, from me. So thank you very much and bye bye.